Hello and welcome back to Miniature Addiction Club. Today I'm going to be working on this miniature cauldron I found at a second hand shop. I started the transformation in a previous video where I painted the surface with some matte black acrylic paint mixed with some baking soda to add some texture and some realism. I also added a little wooden bead to the handle and stained it with some watered down brown acrylic paint. The initial transformation was pretty underwhelming, so I decided to spice things up a little by adding a magical potion. First I sketched out the rough shape of a wooden spoon handle on a scrap piece of wood and carved it out with a craft knife. I didn't need to make the spoon part of the spoon as it's going to be submerged in the cauldron later on. Once I was happy with the rough shape of the spoon handle, I sanded it smooth. Then I added a stain of customary watered down brown paint in the same colour I used earlier. Then I added some chunks of air dry clay to the inside of the cauldron and added the spoon handle. Once that was dry, I added a layer of UV resin which I coloured with some green alcohol ink. I also dusted on some gold mica powder to make it look a little more mystical. Next I added some tiny googly eyes to my magic potion. These ended up getting mostly covered up in the end, but I still think it's a fun little detail. I also added some little bits of dried mossy stuff before adding some more resin. Let me know in the comments below what magical properties you think this potion might have. I built up the layers of resin gradually and here's how it's looking so far. Now the next step is where it gets kind of tricky. I wanted to add some realistic bubbles to my cauldron. The only method I had seen used before was to use tiny clear beads as bubbles, but I wanted to achieve a more realistic effect. After many hours of research, I happened to stumble across a video from Artist by Death. She managed to create 3D bubbles using a mixture of Mod Podge, paint, water and dishwashing liquid. She also sells a pre-made concoction which I will leave linked down below as well as her video. I, however, was much too impatient to wait for shipping, so decided to try my own experiment. I did a test using Mod Podge, acrylic ink, water and dishwashing liquid, as well as one using Dimensional Magic instead of Mod Podge. This test ended up being a massive fail. I think I added too much water to both of my samples and my bubbles completely disappeared as it dried. My second attempt worked really well and gave me the best bubble result. For this one, I just used a mixture of dishwashing liquid and Mod Podge. Unfortunately, my dishwashing liquid was pink, so it resulted in pink bubbles, but they kept their shape really well and were relatively sturdy once dry. I even experimented by putting UV resin over a few of them to protect them and give them more structure, which worked really well. Thinking I was now a bubble expert, and instead of doing more experiments, I jumped right in and made a new concoction of bubbles, which I applied to the top of the cauldron. Once again, I had added too much liquid and all of my bubbles popped. I tried a few more times with different ratios and gradually got better results. I used a straw to blow bubbles into my mixture and went ahead and popped all of the larger bubbles so I could scoop out the smaller ones with a spoon, letting some of the liquid drain away on the side of the cup. Now 
This time I used an uncolored dishwashing liquid and Mod Podge without any paint or water and seemed to get better results. My bubbles were still not as good as my second attempt with the pink dishwashing liquid, which was a concentrated formula, so maybe that's why it worked so well. I know I should have kept experimenting to perfect my mixture before putting it on the final piece, but I was getting tired of trying different things at this point and just wanted it to be finished. I built up a few more layers, letting it dry in between each coat of bubbles. I tried really hard to create some height with the bubbles, but each time they sort of flattened out as they dried. I still like the result, but I might try and perfect my bubble concoction before trying to add any more bubbles to the cauldron. To finish, I added a layer of gloss varnish to add some shine to the bubbles, as the resin didn't really work on top of these ones for some reason. If you want to try this technique, I highly recommend doing your own tests, as different dishwashing liquids may give different results. I didn't measure any of my ratios, so I can't tell you exactly how I made mine, so just play around and see what works best for you. Now let's take a look at the final result.